Next step is to wire the kill switch as our ignition on off switch. So what I did is I went ahead and took the wires for that to run down right here and I ran them right to uh, the key switch. Pretty straightforward. Now they do have uh, male and female spade connectors however I didn't leave them open even though they're secured I or sealed I went ahead and used tape to uh, make sure that nothing was inside them. After that we are going to run power to the batteries with the negative and the positive. We're going to cut these off. We're actually going to splice in a quick disconnect switch in case we ever got to pull that battery out. All right and there is the quick disconnect. I'm one two connect your short. Don't judge me. It's not staying there. There will be another one of these and everything will be wrapped. Uh, but yeah anyways going to the power there and the ground way back there should be having power at this point. Um, this is the electric motor I spoke about. I'm not looking, uh, I don't know, I don't want to think about it, it's kind of small, but uh, whatever. Hopes are up, we'll see what happens. I guess trolling motors push things around, why won't this? Alright, right now we're going to do an initial test phase just to make sure everything's working on it. We do still have to wire in uh, power for our gauges and the reverse. Um, other than that, right now we're just doing an initial power test, so we're going to plug in the lanyard. Like that. And we are going to twist the throttle. Looks good. Okay, next step, next plan of attack. We are going to turn the start stop button into our new reverse button. We are going to take an old Sea Do jet boat starter button, mount it here, and use that for our bilge pump. Brown and black wire will be for reverse. Orange and black wires will be for our accessories, our uh, battery uh, voltage meters. And uh, yeah, that should be pretty much straightforward. Right now I'm gonna get everything hooked up and we'll move on to the next step. Now that we have everything hooked up, what we wanna do is go ahead and test everything before we start buttoning things up. First thing we wanna do is put on our key. You'll see that our battery meters cycle. We are going to look down at the motor, make sure it spins clockwise for forward, it does, and that it spins reverse when we hit our button, which it does, I just don't have an extra arm to do that. Now it's time to stitch everything up and kind of hide some of the wiring. Okay, so there's the main uh, control board wiring in, uh, the motor controller. Uh, it's not completely done yet, obviously. I just kind of got it temporarily in there. I really don't like the brake plugs since they'll never be used, but I hate to cut them off and have them just laying in there, so that's why they're kind of sitting there right now. Um, these will be temporary. This is going to change. I have to put a master cutoff switch uh, in the positive side for the 48 volt battery. Um, the bilge will still need to be wired in with the uh, automatic bilge uh, water detection system. Uh, and I'm about to wire up the uh, speedometer. So that'll be on the 12 volt side. So I forgot to mention, uh, for the bilge button, I decided not to use the CU starter button. The only reason why, the rubber cap has basically come off. And there's no way of keeping it on, so I just didn't like the way it looked without it. So I had an extra momentary switch that I decided to put in. Um, and right here is where we're going to be putting the on-off switch, which is an actual bolt switch for the speedometer. Um, keep in mind, most of the stuff is stuff that I have from being in the business a while. Um, we're trying to keep the budget down, again under five, six hundred bucks. Uh, so we're trying to use what we have around the house. So that said, I'm going to get one of these switches in and I'll be right back. Alright, the switch is fully wired in now and basically what we did was re-ran power from the gauge, which again this is temporary because I'm out of tube connectors. All this wiring is because we're just making sure everything works. That connection there goes to the switch itself and then back down to a single battery running at 12 volts because again it's a 12 volt system and we're running a fuse inside there just to be sure because you always want a fuse and so what we're doing now is to test the ski you're going to install your lanyard turn on your gauges the gauges will read right now it's searching for signal there it's ready and that's basically it you're ready to ride you hit your throttle and we're going. So at this point what we have left to do is we still have to wire in the bilge pump which is going to come down here. Uh, the bilge is probably going to be mounted somewhere in here and there's going to be an automatic uh, turn on right back here. Uh, 
in case water touches it. Uh, so this may get moved, I don't know, or removed for better words. Um, again, we have to rewire everything to make sure everything's a little bit cleaner look. And I think the next step when we wait to get our PTO connection in here is to be mounting the motor and getting all that set up so we can get final wiring, wiring and cleaned up before we bring it on the water.